We are going to map an AM3440. Start by selecting the device. Browse for a license key file. That's an LCF file. We'll pick this one right here. Open. Connect the device, which is 192.168.3228. Here's the unit and the cards in it. Below is the map. Quad T1. We will actually left click on that. That's everything that's mapped. Let's clear the map to begin with. Unmap. Activate the unmap. Now let's proceed to map. We will right click on the RS-232. That's red. That goes below two time slots to the T1. Automatically it's data. It's grayed out. We don't have to select it. Map. FXS, a 12 slot card, will map two dia zeros of FXS to two of T1. We don't have to select voice, it's automatic. Map it. Done. We'll trans we'll do some ENM. One of those to one of these. Again, voice is selected. We map it. FXO we'll do two to two. Map. Notice the first one, which is RS-232, it's a straight line, it's data. The sine wave type lines are indicative of it being a voice circuit. We'll do a TDMOE. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Once we match up the numbers, this goes dark. These can be voice or data, depending on whether we're carrying data circuits or voice. From the T1 to the TDMOE. We'll say these are voice. We'll map it. We can now activate this map. Now, let's proceed to export the map. Comma separated or delineated file. We'll include assigned time slots. We'll include unattimed unassigned time slots also. We'll click OK. This is where it's being saved. This is the name which comes from the uh, license key file name. They're fairly similar except for the uh, suffix at the end of CSV versus the LCF. We'll save that. Now that we've saved it, we can open that in a spreadsheet. So open uh, map 34. What we'll look for are the details in the most recent file date. And here's 228 CSV. Open that. We'll accept all of these defaults. Open it, and there it is in a spreadsheet. We'll do the slide bar down, and you can see all of the data exists in the spreadsheet, both the mapped and the unmapped time slots. That's just for the heck of it. Close the file, and we'll take under tools. We'll clear this entire TSI map. It's cleared. It's being cleared. And we'll activate that cleared map. And now we can do file. We'll import that map. 228. Open. It'll go into map 1. We have a choice of 1, 2, 3, or 4. Clear it before we import it. Yeah, we've already cleared it, but let's do that again anyway. We'll, cl we'll click on OK. And this whole process is going to take about 30 seconds, but it's all automatic. Notice up at the top we have the device size, AM3440A, the IP address of the unit, the name that we give it within SNMP. And by the way, this is all SNMP driven. Quad T1 will click on that and we can see our map has been restored.